When life gives you bananas, make banana bread. And when life gives you bananas but no eggs, make eggless banana bread. And that's exactly what we're doing here today. Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Bake with Shivesh. आज की रेसिपी एगलेस बनाना ब्रेड रेसिपी बहुत सिंपल है बहुत इजी है एंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली इट्स मेड विदाउट एग्स एंड दैट्स व्हाट वी डूइंग दिस वीक ऑन द ब्लॉग सारी रेसिपीज बहुत सिंपल होने वाली है एंड एगलेस सो लेट्स गेट बेकिंग Ideally to make banana bread, I would recommend using ripe bananas. But अगर आपके पास ripe bananas नहीं है use any bananas at hand. All you have to do is to place them on a baking tray and bake them in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 to 20 minutes. What this does is that it makes the bananas very mushy and gooey, and that helps us incorporate them easily into the batter. So I have my bananas ready. I'll go quickly put them in the oven. So while the bananas are cooking in the oven, let's get started with the dry ingredients. I have a small bowl here, and I'm adding maida, cinnamon powder, ginger powder, coffee powder, and baking soda. So all of that into one bowl, and then we'll mix it properly so that it all gets incorporated together. I have my all-purpose flour, which is maida, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon powder, ginger powder, and coffee powder in a bowl, and I'll just give them a good mix. So I like adding cinnamon and ginger because it really brings out the flavor in the banana bread. If you like, you can also add a grated nutmeg or any other spice of your choice. I'm just going to mix this really well and then get started on my wet ingredients. All right, so I'm setting the dry ingredients aside and then starting work on my wet ingredients, starting with softened butter. So make sure your butter is softened because you don't want it to be too hard, otherwise it'll be very difficult to work with it and to incorporate into your batter. So this is just the regular salted amul butter into a bowl. And to this I'm adding caster sugar. I always use caster sugar which is also called a super fine sugar or a breakfast sugar for my baking. I do not recommend using the granulated sugar because the granules are too big to melt in the oven and then you get that crunch of the sugar in your bite which is something that I don't enjoy. Now I'll quickly mix the softened butter and the sugar together and then add the bananas into it. Okay so the bananas are done and this is what you're looking at. So the skins all black and they'll all be mushy and gooey inside. Uh, let them cool completely and then you can start peeling them. I'm living on the edge so I'll start peeling them right away also because I'm very impatient. So this looks super disgusting right now. but this is what will make your banana bread super flavorful so now mash all that gooey banana into your batter and then we'll combine the dry and the wet ingredients and also add the milk let's do it now i'll add the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients in two batches so the first batch with my puffy spatula <laughs> into the wet ingredients and then just using a spatula carefully fold this in and then the half cup milk and now the last batch of dry ingredients into our batter All right so fold this in and then you can add raisins pecans walnuts i have some crushed walnuts here which i'll add into my batter All right so our batter is ready my oven is preheating at 180 degrees celsius and i will transfer the batter into this 9 by 4 loaf pan Um, I've lined it with parchment paper. Make sure that you butter it properly, and then use a parchment paper so that your banana bread doesn't stick to the pan.
सो द बैटर इज रेडी एंड नाउ दिस गोज इन टू द अवन एट वन एटी डिग्री सेल्सियस फिर अबाउट फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी मिनट्स एंड एज आई ऑलवेज से दिस इज एन इंडिकेटिव टाइम गाइज एंड इट मे टेक लॉन्गर और शॉर्टर इन योर अवन सो कीप एन आई एंड वी वर्क एंड प्रेप इन एडवांस सो आ बनाना ब्रेड इज रेडी एंड जस्ट लुक एट हाउ ब्यूटिफुल इट इज लेट्स कट इन टू इट एंड डाइव राइट इन I know I like baking with eggs but the reason why I love this bread so much is because it tastes as good or probably even better than the one that I bake with eggs so if you consume eggs or even if you don't I'm sure you'll enjoy this recipe and I hope you'll go back and bake yourself a batch I'll be back with more recipes next week so please stay tuned and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already Hi. <laughs> so Navroop is back to trouble me. Uh, Navroop, what do you have for me I today? I have some questions which your readers have asked. Okay. So I'm going to ask you the questions that you're supposed to answer them. Go for it. So my first question is, can I replace maida with whole wheat flour? Uh, so honestly, no, because you know this is an eggless recipe, and if you replace maida with whole wheat flour, it'll become like a very dense. texture uh but i do have a whole wheat uh, banana bread recipe on the website bakewithshivesh.com and it contains eggs it contains eggs but it's also whole wheat so you have to pick one okay so the next question is what other alterations can i make to the recipe um this recipe please don't touch it but you can go to bakewithshivesh.com again we have a lot of uh, banana bread recipes we have a gluten free banana bread recipe which is chocolate chunk banana bread recipe triple chocolate banana bread raspberry chocolate chip banana bread so basically a lot of banana breads i would definitely recommend you try the gluten free banana bread because it's made using tapioca flour and the texture is beautiful yeah so the next question is what oven mode should i bake the loaf on so we bake the banana bread uh, with both the rods on and the fan on Uh, but again you know it really depends from oven to oven so please try and understand how your oven works and then bake it accordingly uh can i bake it in a cake pan instead of a loaf pan no <laughs> sure <laughs> you can do it yeah and how can i store banana bread i think it's still so important it's an important question so once your banana bread is properly cooled down you can just put it in an airtight container and uh, store it if it's too hot like it is now just put it in the fridge and heat it in the microwave for about 30 seconds before you eat it i think the readers are going to be quite happy with all the answers are you happy with the answers now group more importantly <laughs> all right so thank you and if you have any more questions regarding the recipe you can leave them in the comments below and we'll be getting back to you.